Welcome to Amber's Passion for Crafting. Today I am going to show you how to do these DIY wine glasses with the reindeer theme. These are wine glasses that I created for my son's teachers for Christmas gifts. I got this wine glass from Dollar 25 Tree. I love their wine glasses. I got my Mod Podge from Walmart, but you can get it anywhere that you see Mod Podge. This is actually the matte Mod Podge. I kind of just like it better, it's my preference. And you can get your paint brushes from anywhere. I got mine from Walmart. I am careful with the quality of my paint brushes because I noticed that the cheaper paint brushes, the hairs come out and it gets stuck in the glue. And sometimes when I pull it off the glue, I have to reapply the glue in that area. So what you see me doing now is just applying a Mod Podge on the stem because I'm doing a glitter stem. So you want to make sure that you're doing even layers of Mod Podge all around the wine glass. Not pushing too hard, but not pushing too soft. Making sure that you get an even layer because it's very important to the process of when you apply your glitter on the stem. You want to make sure that the glitter is sticking and it's not too many spaces. Normally with my wine glasses, I do this two times. So I do what I call two coats of the glitter. So the first coat of glue is very important because then when you go on with your second coat, it should just really fix any imperfections that you couldn't get or that didn't stick so good the first time. So I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the rest of the video. If you are new at crafting and you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. But if you are experienced in using the Cricut machine, then the next clips will be explainable. Now you want to apply your fine glitter, making sure you're hitting every spot that the glue is at. And you want to do that all around the stem. You want to tap all the excess glitter off, flip it upside down, and let it dry for 24 hours. Then I jump on my Cricut Design space, and I'm just sizing my letters. I'm clicking on the letters so that you can see what size I'm using. If you want, you can screenshot it, or you can just go back to this part of the video and pause it and see exactly what size I'm using. I'm attaching it, and then I'm sending it to my cutting machine. Now that you cut everything out from your Cricut machine, what I do is I personally cut everything individually using my scissors. I like cutting everything individually so that I put everything in piles. It's easier to apply it to a project, especially if you're doing multiple things. So what I'm doing now is what we call the weeding process. I am taking out all of the vinyl that I'm not gonna use and just cleaning up my design.
Once you weeded out everything that you're going to use, now it's time to apply it to the glass. And I know the way that I recorded looked weird. I actually recorded from my phone. So it's not you. It's the way that it was recorded. <laughs> This is how everything looks done. I made matching ornaments for the teachers as well. You can check out my next video where you will see those.